Hey guys, this is Bebop Fox, and welcome to my episode 3 of Welcome to Perpetuum. Alright, my little new robot newbie friends, uh, episode 3 here, I'll be covering how to make money. Lots and lots of money. So, you're probably wondering, you know, there has to be a catch. Well, it is, because it's the most mind-numbing, risk-cutting, control, delete, cyanide pill swallowing feeling while trying to make this money. Now, you're going to make millions the easiest way possible. However, it's going to be doing transport missions. And transport missions, all you do is run from point A to point B. Now, there's one thing to know, and that's higher rep equals more money all the time. When you start out, you're going to be doing just level 1 missions. So you're not going to be making very much, roughly 18,000 per mission you do. So when you have a little archie or a little castle to start out with, that kind of sucks. But you can upgrade to something bigger, like a sequer. And that's what this is right here. Now a sequer, once you're doing the alpha missions, you can run up to four missions at once. So that makes you quite a bit of money. Also, in about eight hours, you can get your rep from one to 3.0. And then you can start doing level three missions. Now level three missions is where the real money is because every run you make usually makes you about 200 plus thousand dollars. And then you get a run back and make another 200,000. So in about an hour, you can make a million nick, which is really nice. Now transport missions are the best because you, they're a good way to back up all your PVP stuff. So if let's say you really suck at PVP and you found that out the hard way, then transport missions are a good way to reimburse yourself. Also, make sure to get insurance. Once you're docked up, you can right click your mech that you want to insure and hit insurance. Now, you're going to pretty much get all your money back, except for maybe a few here and there. But it covers your ass for when your sequel gets blown up during an alpha to beta transport mission. That is the three inner islands to the outer three islands. And that can get a little bit dangerous. Now, here are some tips for when you get up to level three transport missions. So I recommend to join a corporation and join a corporation that has a good alliance and good alliance intel. Usually there's an intel chat and you can ask them if your transportation route is clear. This is the best way to make sure you don't lose your sequel. But once again, you'll lose some from time to time, but you at least you have your insurance to back yourself up. Now, number one thing is to remember, do a transportation mission that supports your corporation that you want in. I personally did DFC. They do the highest transportation mission payouts once you get up to level 3 and 4. So they fall under the ICS Mega Corporation. Now you have three mega corporations, Eisentech, ICS, and Truehold Martin. All of them have three smaller corporations that work for them. So you can end up doing transportation missions that go over at least one of those three that you want to support. Alright guys, and I hope that helped you out knowing about transportation missions. If you have any questions or comments and any, anything else you'd like to learn about, please put it in the comments below and hope to see you next time. Not sure what I'll cover yet. Hmm, maybe you could help me out. Thanks guys.